Hello? How are you doing? I'm doing purple. Because I said so. So, today, as we can see from the wonderful text, it's gamer time. Thank you for that sign. Yes, it's gamer time. So today's plan is simple. Last weekend, we... Last weekend... Okay. The plan is simple. Last weekend, we beat the Splatoon 2 story. Which I got some clips out of. Today, we're going to do the story in Splatoon 3 so that I don't have to dodge any spoilers anymore. So... Without further ado, let's say hello to Captain Cuttlefish. Actually, one other thing. Right before stream started, I learned that if you're standing in the lobby and you've covered the entire thing with paint, and then it ticks over to a new hour, the entire room gets uncovered with paint. That's probably a good thing to have learned. Although, I guess the Twitter now has pictures of the entire paint process. So you, you can look there if you want. Um, but without further ado, let's do Spoon 3! It's story time. So we've learned in the opening cutscene that the Great Zapfish is... Missing. Again. Yes, I got <laughs> Nice tumbleweed. Uh... The... 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 Oct Octarians are coming! Wait, didn't we... A again! Oh. Yeah, okay. Did we do the... The old nog... <laughs> what? Name's Cuttlefish, senior advisor to the new Squidbeak Splatoon at your service. Yeah, we did this in the Octarian expansion, I think. It's the look I've been looking for. The great zapfish that powers Splatsville has been squidnapped. Oh, it's a different great zapfish. This is the one in Squidsville. It's the Octarians again. You can bet your bottom sand dollar on it. See, the great zapfish has gone missing before. Twice, in fact. And those octo jerks were behind it both times. I've been keeping an eye on them, even though I'm technically retired. Dude, your shirt says retired. Although, look at those medals. So many of them. So many medals for visit. what? What's the silver medal? Whatever. With eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me, but they're still made off with the great zapfish. And now we've got to get it back. I got my little pet. That was a job offer, kid. The pay is zero, but you might just save the world. You're in, right? Yeah, I, starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Wait, I'm Agent 3? Dude, I got a new hero suit? There are such thing. <laughs> Wait, is there such a thing as something growing in the wash? It's a bit baggy on you. Don't remember ever washing it. <laughs> the last Agent 3 was clean as a catfish. Listen, if I remember my Splatoon 1 correctly, I was never clean as a catfish. Uh, we've already got another agent there with uh, with you, huh? Fresh out of hero suits, unfortunately. The salty little scamp, ain't it? Yeah, it's... excited. Well, let's go save the day, guys. Let's look for a way into the Octarian base and keep your eyes open for nuggets of wisdom. What? Ah, I'm a fuzzball. What? I had human feet. So just stuff with stuff. Trouble stick to the ink if you want to avoid another close. Dude, mind the fuzzy ooze. It's all over the place. Touch that stuff, and who knows what'll happen? Foof! Instant full body beard. Whether you want it or not. I I see. I don't think I want a full body beard. What's this? It's one big fuzzy ooze. That big old bubble on top is probably the fuzzball. 
I bet if you could pop that, the whole thing would poof. Sorry about that later. For now, keep looking for a way to the Octarian base. Whole place could use a shave or a shower or something. I don't get it. Okay. Octarians in the crater. Yikes. First mission. Let's see how it goes. Can't go much worse than uh, my entire Splatoon 2 playthrough. Tutorials. Whoa. That's been upgraded a bit. Do I have to pop all the balloons? Tutorial missions are so fun. There's so many balloons. Remember, you can use the thingamajig to look around. Yeah, but I don't want to use the thingamajig. He's just reading off all the tutorial stuff. As if we didn't do the entire tutorial already. Okay. Boom! Everything go boom. Wait! Everything still go boom. Looks like there's a secret door over here or something. Well, I hit the switch. Does anything good come from hitting the switch? I don't... I don't think so. We can throw the little guy? Okay. He's like a mini grenade. Actually, I think he is our grenade. So I don't know if the word like a mini grenade really works. Okay, over here. We have another switch. The drawbridge is down. Armor! Oh, we can't go up there. Let's go, small fry. We're getting a lot of uh, egg as egg goo goo. So in both of the previous games, there were scrolls in every level. I wonder if there are any in this. Oop, that's a. That's the Octo Trooper. Okay. Behind wall, no shame. He draws their attention? That's funny. Okay, so that's a pretty short level. I didn't see anything super secrety. Go get him! Oh wow, he breaks that real quick. Hi, Zappy. Good job, Zappy. We'll see you in the next level. You remind me of a young cuttlefish heroically saving the day. Anyway, the good news is you got a zapfish. They're a source of energy on their own. But the better news is that the great zapfish may be up ahead. And we got 500 of those buckaroos, too. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just wobbling. Power eggs. It cost 300. Okay, dude. We had 500, so you can... Poof them out of existence. Come on, little buddy. This one's 100, so I'm betting it only clears up a level. Yep, there's a level. And then this one. Whoa. Dude, we got a decoration. You can pick it up at the lobby terminal. We decorate the locker. We'd look silly now. 
Okay. On to level two. Sink into the ink and swim. I do like that little animation of going down into the kettle instead of just jumping down. Just a wiggly. We're a wiggly, wiggly boy. Wiggly, wiggly boy. He's sitting in the backpack! Okay, what's the tutorial mission this time? In, go into the ink and start swimming. It's like a racetrack. Whee! Wait, why is it going? Why is it, why are we locking on to everything? And it only happens when we're in the ink. There's a dash track up ahead. I want to go this way. Okay, I, I didn't want to go that way. Even better. Okay. So we're starting off a little s slow. Is there an enemy down here? Dude, he's fuzzy too. What was that all about? Oh, this is a safety net. For a part later. Got it. I was hoping to find something secret. Dude, this ink is trippy. Is there anything in here? I didn't see anything. His eyes were purple. There's something wrong with these guys, guys. They're not acting right. Get him! Get him! Oh, he got wrecked. I sort of want to go down and try to figure out what's going on down there. Let's go! You can just swim back up. No big deal. If they got rid of the secrets, I'd be sad. He went boom! Doesn't look like we got anything going on here. Oh, that's the great zap fish. But this way's got eggs and Oh, it just goes around again. I suppose that's fine. We got all the things, I th I think. Are you here? There's nobody here. Small guy, go fly. First time clear. 500 points. Good. I'm hoping we can get through this uh, tutorial type area quickly. Yes, they look different. They used to be a little more smooth, if memory serves. I wanted to judge a deadly tentacle creature by its cover. More power to him, but not really. As long as you're sporting that hero suit, you can stand up to any Octarian spirited or not. Could you even read the label? Here, I'll do it for you. You're wearing the latest in apocalyptic survival fashion. Avoid enemies and navigate the splat lands in style with your own high-end sensor. Dry clean only. Wait, he said he washed it. Uh, suddenly I'm worried.
Go, buddy, go! Bloop. It's a long way down. One false step, it could be over the ledge. Edge. Edge ledge. It is what it... Whoa. Buddy, please. Another level. Dude, look at this. It's... Whoa. Better not be eating all of that in one go. Boxes, locked, keys, please. Okay. So what do we got here? Oh, a lockbox. So we grab the key and then we go, hey, what's in you? Cool, we made it. More locked boxes. Will he activate this? He will activate this. And he'll continually activate it. Um. How do I get that though? Don't know how to get up there. I don't think I'll be able to hop onto it either. There's a great zap fish over there, and I sort of want that. doing buddy he looks crazy too so I need a key there's a key remember to slip under grates that's a great tip I'm sorry okay so through doing all of that we got ourselves up here and a, another key so we have two keys Oh, we need both keys, so... I, I guess that's normal. I haven't used this yet, so let's, uh... Hi, Zappy! He looks so terrified of us. Ugh, don't eat him! Listen, smally guy over there looked like he wanted to eat my new buddy. It's a, it's a legitimate concern that I have. I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than I already have ruffled them. Then they're already ruffled, but those fuzzy octarians are freaking me out! Let me just fire up the communicator. Check, check. Cuttlefish. <gasps> Agent 2! <laughs> are we bringing him back? Agent 1, this is Agent 2. Gramps has wandered off again, over. <laughs> Let's go collect him. Stay, stay fresh. You just hang out. Oh no. <clears throat> so impatient. <gasps> Who's there? <laughs> I don't know who that was. Who's our guy that found cuttlefish? Is it the Octarian guy again? He was sort of giving us problems for the last couple games. Oh, that's a faster way up. Ain't that right, little guy? Okay, so if memory serves, this is like a decoration or something. <gasps> we got card pack. That's for that card game that they added. Oh wow, do I have to like navigate through here and not get hit? I'm so bad at that. Okay, go buddy, go! You're my only hope. 
Whew. Level four. What are they? Can we stop them? Oh, I think we can switch our grenades at the bottom using the D-pad stuff. So hopefully we'll get more. Get that right, Mr. Cuddle. Oh, we got armor. Okay, yeah, little guy is a, is like a little taunter. Whee! The walls are rising. Ah, yes, we can use a splat down. I'm not gonna. I believe in the power of Team Yellow. Go Team Yellow! Oh yeah, I could have just had him dance in the middle. That would have been smart. Oh well, we're not here to be smart. We're here to beat up enemies. What is this music? This is so weird. I heard something. Okay, we caught him. We caught him. No more surprises. See, no surprises. Ain't that right, guy? Does it count if I'm the surprise? Maybe. Oh well, we shouldn't really worry about- it. Whoa, more of you! Okay. They really want me to use Mr. Small Fry here. Is that his official name? He's acting up though. We should do something about that. Careful around this little guy. He might eat you whole. Oh, that ought to be the last kettle. Do you see anything else that looks fishy? Yeah, that big blob over there. Oh, is that... Okay. He didn't hit it. Whoa. Okay, that was a lot. What's going on here? Is that the Octo Dude? Welcome back. Finally found you. My Terrian troops have gone missing, and I know you're behind it. Hey, it's TJ Octavio. Octavio? It is three, this dirty DJ is the headliner of the entire Octarian army. Uh. I'm about to drop my latest hit. Right on your smug little face. It's the Octobot King L3G. S. Don't forget the S. What do we got going on here? Oh, this was the final fight in the story that we just did. So... And it's... Using very similar mechanics. Okay, the sand's no good. We can't do anything with the sand. Two hits is good. I guess he's not as strong without his... his tricks. Drill punch! Wow, they really upgraded that, haven't they? And yet it's weaker. Definitely a change animation. More drill punch. I see. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. So, um... Uh-oh. 
What is... Is that a vacuum? Why'd you do that? Oh wait, don't let it suck up the ink. Oh. Okay, so we don't shoot. Bye, buddy. No! Okay, so we've learned how to stop the vacuum. Sorry, small buddy. We didn't, we didn't mean to harm you. But, um... I needed to apparently clog a vacuum cleaner. Ha! Ah, I'm such a tricky little guy. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Bye! And plopped him. So, a little easier than the last time I fought him. And hit number two down. What are you gonna add now? You had a vacuum cleaner, you had punches, you had drill fist, and now you're mad. What are you hitting? Keep your guard up. Oh, it's paper. Shockwave. Oh, wait, we have to worry about shockwaves? Whoa! Okay, we got him. I, I, I got around it. Welcome back, small fry. How you doing? Cute little guy. More paper, but I don't have my special yet. Oh, that is a really slow moving shockwave. I was expecting a little faster. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be completely honest. Nothing there. And... A drill. Okay, we'll finish him off. Every time, so sad. We didn't even steal your army! Well guys, the Octarians have been defeated, that's the game! Thanks for coming by, it was uh, like a 20 minute story, 4 whole missions, but we seem to be good. <laughs> Little guy, what are you doing? Gear is way too strong. You put on a weak show. Your set list is getting older, maybe it's just you. Just that was too easy. It's like you weren't even using the great Zapfish's power. <laughs> oh, he didn't steal it. Uh-oh. Who was it then? Uh-oh. Whoa! Did it just stole the machine? No, Captain Cuddle! My boots! Okay, guys, we lost our shoes, we lost Captain Cuddle, and we fell down a big hole. What are you two doing, three? What are you three doing? I don't know. Nintendo presents. Oh, it's cold down here. Splatoon 3. Is that a... SpaceX, like, NASA launch site? What is this? We're in the biosphere. Biodome? With Polly Shore. And we're able to ink the snow.
Okay, okay then. Hello. Who's calling for me? Agent 3 over here. Yo. So glad you're Wait, how did they know I'm Agent 3? You are Agent 3, right? Grams fully enlisted you in your small fry? Yeah, we did. <laughs> He's always looking. Agent 1 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Agent 2. And... <laughs> One last group. <laughs> oh no, the cap'n. The new new Squid Beak Splatoon. Is that supposed to be our character from Splatoon 1? We are really bored. Looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge. It's filled with horrible, fuzzy ooze stuff. Now we have to find Gramps before he, like, tastes it or something. What? <clears throat> you make it sound like it's not gonna be fun? Okay. They're in. Probably just too excited to <laughs> about looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. We still don't speak. Gramps reeled in a new Agent 3. Yay! Never been here before, but here's the tour anyway. We think this place is called Alterna. Who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time? We count six different islands so far. What should we call them? Sites or something? And we're not even going to mention the humongous rocket. I put a tracking device on Gramps, as one does. But now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Your mission is to check out all three. We upgraded your map a little. Tell us how you love it. Okay, so Future Utopia Island is where we are. It tracks places you've already visited and lights up when you're near anything interesting. Buried treasure. Ooh. We're here to look for tramps, not Gramps, not treasure. I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali tracker anyway. Yes, I do. That's totally out of power eggs. Uh-oh, we lost them. And the hero suit's messed up. Okay, so we have to collect stuff to upgrade it from scratch. First, we'll need Sardinium to unlock access to different types of upgrades. Then, you can spend upgrade points to actually upgrade. Did you tell Agent 3 how to actually get upgrade? No? Okay. Just ink lots of stuff and find items. It's not rocket science. But that rocket might be. It seems like we might need some rocket science. Ah, yes, you made the same joke as I did. Okay. Getting shrunk Gramps-like signal in the next site. But we have to... Okay. That goes back to Splatsville, so that's our escape. This is a helicopter landing of some sort. Small fry! Captain wanted me to tell you? Oh, wait, nope. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm here if you want to talk to someone who's barely paying attention. Oh, no. Okay, we got ourselves a kettle. Lots of kettles. That's a lot of levels. And a balloon. You get down here, balloon. You know what? Never mind. We're gonna do a level. I think. Okay, so we, I think we need one sardinium. Huh. Get to know Alterna. 
Show off your skills and reach the goal. <clears throat> it's time we actually start this mess. It's been 40 minutes, and we have just now gotten to the first boss of sorts. In intercom? Pre-recorded message. All systems nominal. Biometric scan. Scan complete. No matches found. Yay! Cave Johnson, what are you doing? My name is Orca. I am what you might call a navigation system for Alterna citizens. Wait. Post-apocalyptic? Escape shuttle? It's like an arc? Setting up a phone for the first time? Wow, ding! Your name has been accepted. Thank you for registering, Agent 3. Yeah, I'm officially Agent 3. My circuits are designed to measure your intellectual and physical prowess as demonstrated by your ability to complete missions throughout Alterna. In each mission, you must reach a goal, mechanism, or complete an objective. Extraordinary citizens will complete many missions and receive many power eggs. You can expect a substantial power egg payday in particular for this first mission. May your enthusiasm result in success. Yay! Power eggs. One last thing, as you complete missions and become an ever more exceptional citizen, you will naturally gain increased access to the Alterna Log. Do not attempt to share the Alterna Log without permission. Please handle the information with care, and please consider this a threat. I will do that, Orca. Thank you for threatening me. <laughs> but I won't. I guess all we have to do now is collect power eggs and work on removing that fuzzy one. Please select a weapon for this mission. We can only do uh, that that weapon, so we'll do that one. Power eggs are required. You'll be given an opportunity to make a payment before entering. Okay, we shouldn't require one. So this game takes a lot from the Octo expansion then. That's probably both a good and a bad sign for me because I did much worse on that than I did literally anything else. Whoa! So it looks like we're at, we're in the game now. I, we have three lives, lots of stuff happening at the same time. Okay. That was a bad throw. I'm sorry. So we gotta get used to using Mr. Small Fry. Key number one. Obtained. Oh, it's an ink cleaning guy. We got a lot of stuff going on on this level, actually. That was a great throw. Ah, yes, the squeegee. Oh, not again. I hate you guys. Okay. We're good. We got up. We're at two keys already. And now we just need to uh, go get a third one. And I missed all of that. Ooh. Wait, why is it turning? I will take that. I don't know why it turned, but... Dual rails! Dude, we're just having like an amusement park of all the stuff that we can do. Is that a gun? I'll take another one, thank you. And that's all the keys. Oh, there's a thing up there. Let's go grab it. So, it looks like we've got a lot of tutorial stuff happening here all at once. Going up. 
going up and going up. Oh, we're not making another blender, are we? First time clear bonus, 700. So I don't know if we have all of the same hidden like stuff for the story. It seems like we have logs in this one, which if that's anything like the previous one, that means that we're gonna have to be beating a lot of levels in a lot of different ways. Hey, what you doing down there? How can I help you? You know, I don't know where I met Small Fry. Power eggs? We did it. Oh. I had options and I chose one. Okay, guys, let's look at the archive. Wait. There are hidden scrolls. And 24. We also have the eternal log, the, the alternal log. The fall of humanity. Ah, yes, I understood all of that. Can we analyze faster? Oh, wait, that's number three? It is Visit a sparkling city of chaos, the hottest place in the Splatlands. Anarchy Avenue. Walk it, feel it, live it. Special collection, walk the Splatsville walk. Okay, then. But that gave us an upgrade point, so I will take it. Um. What caused the Big Bang you or... Octopods at rest tend to flip out. What are you doing? What are you doing? How do I know which level's which? There's another level up there that I can check out. Okay, what's this one? The string's the thing. Yes. Reach the goal using the Tri-Stinger? I will do that. This one costs 20 power eggs. So we're gonna, we're gonna use 20 power eggs. Oh, I'm blue now. Use the weapon to spray ink in three directions with a single shot. That is a cool shade. Okay, this one costs us 20 to enter. We only have 158. Okay. We got it. And we got it. Well, uh, this is gonna be an interesting attempt. You can't stop me. Stop hiding behind that tree. Okay, so this was probably my favorite weapon in the uh, test fire. So, we're just gonna go with it and hope it all works out. And go pew! Oh, that didn't work at all. Got him! We found scroll three. Boom! Nice charge shot from me. Some armor.
Ah, you guys are just fooling yourself if you think that you can beat me. See? No, that was not all of them. Why are you guys floating? Get down here. Launch pad? I'll take that. Yes, please. Final checkpoint already. Oh well. I think we're good. I said I think we're good. You guys don't need to chase me. Stop spawning. Whoa, he's dodging. Okay, that's a target. Oh, we didn't get him. There we go. Are we still not getting scrolls? Are they hidden in the overworld? Ah! Wrist stretches. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? Ah, oh, sorry. Didn't see that. Oh, it's Splatoon time. And wrist stretch time. It always hurts when I do these. They're no fun. Oh, I am the least flexible person alive. So, how are we doing? There we go. Maybe? Nope. My right wrist never likes stretching properly. I wish I had something to put on screen while doing these. I never do. There we go. That hurt a bit, but what am I gonna do? My wrist stretches are terrible. Oh, this one's only 100, so it looks like these are two different sides of this? That was some, that was 100 to get 100 power eggs. Thank you very much, game. And that one gave us an upgrade point. And that thing from Easter Island? Okay, then. That's interesting. Octopods at rest tend to freak out, so we're gonna freak them out because we can. Welcome to Splatoon 3 Land. Do we have a choice? Oh, they're all 900. We're gonna try something new then. This is a splat, splat gun, Gatling gun, charge it up, let it fire. Does all the work for us. Now we got three lives. Remain in one piece and reach the goal. What does that even mean? Bombs, bombs. A lot of bombs on the right over there too. Okay. So it looks like we just have a lot of bombs. No, you stop it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess all the weapons it provided me are pretty good for this. This is probably the weirdest one to use, but it's not like it was really doing anything for it. Like, out of all the stuff that we got, there was nothing that would have made this, like, s any easier, really. That was cool. He went flying away. What are we doing, little guys? That's not a little guy. Ooh. So we added really big enemies. Got it. Keep my eye out for Statue of Liberty again. Yo, key number one. Okay. All of that just to get back to the entrance and unlock a small reward and, and, and a way up. 
but the small reward is what we really wanted. Final checkpoint. What had, what have we possibly done to make this the final checkpoint? I don't even know. The only thing I know about being an agent is that open space like that is bound to be trouble. Oh, a lot of enemies here. I would agree that that usually would be trouble. It wasn't, but it usually would be. Okay, we just need that to happen. Oh, he didn't break that. And, um, I don't know why that's there in the roof. It's fine. We're done. We beat another mission. Man, early missions are easy. 900 for the first time clear. So it looks like after level three, we have a split where we can skip a couple of islands if we wanted to. Or maybe there's a way back to three from six. I'm not sure. Okay, what do you say, Archive? Did you, did you learn how to read yet? As technology advanced at an exponential pace, so too did prosperity, and ultimately conflict. Before long, the entire world was embroiled. In the end, nearly all life on Earth was wiped out. But this is just log one. Ah, yeah, we'll, we'll have him eat that. Come on, for I come back. I need you to eat more stuff. All for upgrade points, apparently. Ooh, that one's 300, but that one's only 200. Ah, we'll eat them both. Who am I kidding? Wait, there's a thing over here. Wait, what did you find? What is this? I... I don't know what that is. We're getting a lot of upgrade points. But not a lot of upgrades. Okay, so a couple of things back here. That one requires 900, that one requires 700. What caused the Big Bang? Wait, is this two snipers? Are we using the E-Leader or the E-Leader? Oh, it's scoped or unscoped. I use the scope. Boom! What? Why are there... There's errors everywhere. Why are there errors everywhere? Ooh, I missed. Oh, you gotta break them all in one shot? That shows how well I pay attention. I am being murdered to death. I have five lives. Okay, we did it. Good job. <laughs> we caused the Big Bang, I guess. We did it. Okay. We'll continue with our crazy theory of me causing the Big Bang after these short messages. That was a nice amount of monies. Are you still updating? Yeah, we'll, we'll read you once you're completely updated. Another decoration. That was a box of some sort. <gasps> it's 
so many upgrade points, but I found a thing to shoot. Is that a CD? We don't have the points for that. No eggs, no eggs. Fine, we'll get more eggs. Relic restoration. Cover as much as you can with ink. What? I'm so confused. Okay, what is the goal this time? I think we only have one weapon choice. This mission will introduce you to the hobby of extreme face painting. That's a hobby? Okay. What is... Sir? Your face seems to be broken. And I thought Callie had a... Why? Oh, uh, we have to ink this whole thing? This is why my Twitter is not allowed to exist. I've already inked a bunch of stuff today. And the game just came out! You have inked in excess of 20% of all the surface. Ah, perhaps some platforms may be of help. Thank you. We are making a blue face. The best color of face. Whoa, can't have that. Specs on my blue face. Okay, going up. Wait, sir. I need to get that bald spot. Okay. It's looking a bit better now. It's a little blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -dai. There's no way we're halfway there already, guys. We just started. I might be finger painting and bad at finger painting, but but I, I know when things are uncolored at least. Okay, this is not finger painting. This is like watercolor painting. I'm not even sure. Okay. I think we're looking good. We tell you to ink this well. No, it wasn't Agent 1. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is that while in every game they keep bringing in like these new pairs and new, new characters, at least story-wise, the main focus has been on Callie and Marie quite consistently throughout the whole thing. Which I enjoy because they are my favorite pairing amongst all of the Splatoon games. No, we're not done. We have to fix the nose. If we're doing it, we're doing it right. Okay, a little on the eyebrow. Mm. Okay, there we go. We got it good now. Now we can leave. Thank you very much. That was, that was a mission. I guess we really earned our pay there. Welcome to Easter Island. So, we're, we're trying to reach the... Whatever that industrial complex was in Halo Reach with the... Sword Base! To launch to space. This actually reminds me of the moon from Destiny. Or was it Destiny 2? I don't remember. J 
Joke's on you guys. I'm clearing up all the fuzz. Oh, it's an alternate route around. Choice is nice and all, but, um... I'm just trying to beat stuff like crazy. Actually, that's another way to this mission of all things. And then there's a mission over there. Deadly dance hall, survive for one minute. Okay. So apparently we have the world's weirdest combination of missions. We just have to survive with no items. Got it. I like this icy shade of blue. Can I get this for all of my time in game? Whoa. Oh, now there's two of you. Dude, these shockwaves go much slower than I thought. Oh, good. Now we have three, four. This is what we always wanted. Ugh. It is a deadly dance hall. Why did they do this? Ah! I want that. No! I got hit. My shield is broken. We're at 19! No, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it from the beginning to the end. Beginning to the end. Come on. We got this. It's just one minute. How bad could it be? Okay. So all we have to do is find a good spot where we can see all the shockwaves and not have them overlap too much. So those two are always going to be a singular jump. Sadly, the ones on the left, not so much. Whoa, how am I supposed to get this now? I want that, thank you. Okay, we're back over here. Ah, I got hit. I got hit twice. My greed knows no end. Okay, fine. What's our checkpoint? This is the only checkpoint. We still have to survive for a minute. What is the point of spending the 10? That we don't have to choose our no weapon? Hello. I am blue. Da ba dee da ba die. I can't. Can't use my grenades. We have to make sure we keep collecting stuff. That's gonna be the only way we get through this mess without losing all of our money. Or I can just not be greedy, but greed is good. See, greed, good. Oh, I got hit there. That's unfortunate. I got hit there too. Ah, uh, last hit. I didn't jump again, guys. I didn't jump again. I wanna get greed to be good. I want it to be good. Look at it. These two aren't synced up this time. That's gonna make this much harder, I feel. Uh. Actually, none of them are synced up. Okay, those two are synced up. No! Oh, I knew I timed that badly. I knew I timed it badly! Reed still good. Okay, come on. 
No! Okay, I, I somehow got that. Six, five, four, no! <gasps> we got all of the monies too! <laughs> Thank you for throwing a challenge in on the first time. <laughs> One minute. One minute. That's all they wanted. I can't imagine that in a three minute format or something. That would be awful. And now I've got a cough drop. Okay, clean that mess up. Okay, what do we got? I do not like your hat. <laughs> Wait, what are you? Oh. Balloon. I can almost make that throw. I did make that throw. There should be a level in there. Power eggs. I think it's a lot of hidden stuff right now. Let's scroll four. The wild, live free. We do whatever we want. This town is a melting pot. So let's stir things up. I'm tired of folks pretending to be cool. I want to get so fired up that I boil over. Where is this on the map? So we're way on the right hand side of the map. Okay. It costs quite a bit to get over there, but... Okay. Ooh, there's one that costs 100 over here. Another scroll? What's this? Two! Long ago, our splatted lands were almost washed away by a great flood. All we presumed lost until three lights appeared and united to consume the disaster. Thankfully for their thankful for their salvation, the townsfolk threw a festival with three portable shrines as tribute. Where in the map is that one? Oh, that one's up here. Hmm. So now we just have to find scroll number one. Apparently it can be anywhere here. 600. Oh, I found a thingamajig. Yo, we found a sardine. That's gonna get us our first upgrade. Ooh. Yeah, these should, yeah, these increase in sardine requirements. But I don't know if they increase in required for hero upgrades. So we got a couple small upgrades to our little buddy. That's always good, I, I think. Why is that 600? Zip cast your way. Wait, zip cast? What is zip casting? This is why I'm not allowed to be cool. Zip caster and the splatter shot. Okay. I don't know what the zip caster is, but.
Wait, what? A monkey! Can I zip cast to people? Boom! <laughs> I'm a monkey, guys. I'll go bloop. Ha! Wait. Now you can't hit me. Splash tarnishing. Oh, I just want to go bloop. <laughs> uh, it's not hard, but this is stupidly fun. I can I can go from one to the next. I'm Spider-Man. No, I, I can't check out my surroundings. That, that's not allowed. Whoa! Okay. I did it! I got the monies. Power eggs. Time to go up! Good. Wait, no, no, we're not. We're a monkey. We're not afraid of heights. I'm a Spider-Man monkey. Wait, that's the goal? We got him. And now, we just... Oh, I love the setup for that mission. That one's fun. Something about just flying everywhere is hilarious. Twelve hundred. I don't want a barrel. I got so many upgrade points. I feel like I'm being bottlenecked by weird stuff. Not one, but two hidden treasures. That's a CD. What are you? Ooh, wait. A level! Become one with your small fry. I mean, we're, we're pretty good at being two different people. I throw them around, but, you know. It's a quid pro quo. I give them protection. We don't need to be one. We have a symbiotic relationship here. We're good. No, I, okay, no weapons, just the small fry. Got it. Let's go. Boom! Okay. We're gonna work together with the small fry. Okay, so I can... Oh, okay, I use the commands. That's actually a really interesting way of teaching people to, uh, use those commands, though. Wall. I see no wall. I'm 
Okay. We get the key. And now we just gotta take this thing to the vault. But I sort of wanna see if there's something on the top. No. Keep hitting that. Yo! Free stuff! I don't need to see what's happening. Okay, I see. Okay, let's try this again. I should now hit everything up until there. Yo, I got a key! This isn't too bad. There we go. Small fry carrying us to the to the end. There I am. A victory for me. It's a victory for all squid kind. Okay, but let's uh, finish cleaning this up. We still have to find a scroll here, I think. Ain't that right, Squiddy? Small fry? What do we call you? I'm more surprised that they didn't have anything like hidden back here. But just to be sure, I'm going to come back again. Okay, we got a pack of cards. We have to depend on Small Fry Guy to get some stuff, I see. Okay, if he hops out of the pack, then he knows where he's going. <laughs> Captain says you're always you, no matter what. That's true. I guess. Okay, don't don't bother the captain anymore. We just gotta keep going. Boop 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 boom 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 boom. Wait, what were you doing? Okay. He's not glowing, so I don't think he found anything. But you! That would have been embarrassing if that was the scroll, but it's just a, uh... thingamajig.
And just like that, I think we cleared most of this half of the island. And I definitely feel like I'm missing some some scroll stuff. But whatever, we will continue forward. I think we've gotten all the kettles here, so we just have to go forward to the left. Only kettle we haven't done yet. Splat ya! On the flip side, outwit the Octarians and reach the goal. That's just what I'm here for, outwitting people. Oh, they're on 900, so we'll go with the uh, umbrella because we haven't done it yet. There's no real outwitting here. We have a shield, they don't. Whoa. Okay. Whole levels are flipping over. Keep your eyes peeled. My eyes are peeled. Ah! I think we can get max money if we do all the levels with all the items. For these early ones, I don't... Unless I absolutely need the money. You just had to drive into it. Ugh. Drive. You had to run into it. Ah! He shot me. That was rude of him. Okay, we got him. Okay, you guys need to stop. There's too many of you. I'm low on ink. Whew. Like a boss. Final room. Armor. Final checkpoint. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Don't let your guard down. We're in the final run. Why would we let our guard down? This is where things are most likely to go wrong. Catch you on the flip side, I say as they attack. No, this is my, my war to win. Nailed it. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Make a decent time, I think. Although, to be fair, there's a lot more levels here than there were in, um... In Splatoon 2. So this might take... quite a while longer than we originally planned. Did you know you can jump back to any previous kettles directly from the menu? Did you know that I just got another sardine? Increase mobility while walking through enemy ink. Increases the hero shot rate of fire. Increases your ink tank capacity. So we're gonna unlock this tier. And uh, all of these cost two. Oh, this one costs three? These just increase in price? No, the middle cost two, the others cost three. Interesting. So our rate of fire is slightly higher. Hey, that's not fair. I don't have access to that area yet. I still don't have access to that area yet. What 
Wh why are you glowing? Yes, we got a hundred power eggs back after spending like 600. Hey! We got a ticket. Okay, we're gonna open this, but I'm not gonna go in here yet. Doors, 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 and more doors. If I learned anything from Fall Guys, it's that I'm not good with doors. Okay, we'll climb in, and one, two, three, and way back down here. Cool. And another scroll. Oh, hey, that's scroll one. Cool. Greater Inkopolis and the Splatlands have wildly different methods of serving up clam mochi. Inkopolis style means a clam wrapped in mochi, but Splatlanders wrap the mochi with clams. They also sprinkle on some sesame seeds and top it with hot sauce. Mmm. Splatville's claim? Clam to fame. Sorry, I didn't read that pun correctly. So we're up here on the map behind a balloon. Interesting. Fifteen hundred. So we'll uh, be getting this one. Doors, doors, doors. Ba da bum, ba da ba da 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 ba da. Doors, doors, doors. Oh, it's just the hero gear. That's boring. Okay, let's see what we got going. Find all the keys and escape. Okay, so we gotta peel, keep our eyes open, keep our eyes peeled like onions. Find some keys. Yeah, already got one. Can't fool me that easily, game. I said you couldn't fool me that easily. Why did you still try to fool me that easily? You weren't like you weren't listening at all. Again with this. And above us. Okay. We have to choose a direction, go that way. Ooh, a lot of guys in here. Ooh, extra keys, got it. Boom! Wait, what do you find? Why are you jumping around? You know what? He's confusing me. We're just gonna go up. What is this music? Okay, so that's a checkpoint. We have to go down over here. So that's another key. Key, 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 key. We drop down over here. A secret floor. There's no secret floor here. I imagine that they had a lot of fun with developing these levels. How they feel? Okay. 
Got him. And another key. So I think we're always just at a plus one in keys right now. But if this is where I think we are, oh. I have to shoot these buttons real quick. Oh, that's not fair. I thought that was extra, but apparently it's just completely required. Checkpoint, not final checkpoint, but checkpoint. Hmm. Ah, uh, we didn't do the other side. Okay, now we're done. That's the key to making it. I'm sorry, I'm just a little queued up. Oh no, stop it with the puns. Doors, 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 and more doors. Doors, doors, doors. I think we'll have a Splatoon game where I actually get all the scrolls. How weird is that? I usually don't explore, like, everything. <laughs> Two says she can look at spreadsheets all day and not get a headache. I'm just like Agent 2. I can do that, too. Spreadsheets are great. Who are you supposed to be? Uh-oh. They've got masks. What is what is this mess? We're not supposed to be anything. Okay, so what are you? I'll tell you who we are. Hi, Kale! Yes, it's a doity stream. Fire and shiver. And big, big man in the house. Only we may loot here. Oh, look, it's deep cut. I don't think they're squids, guys. They're a little weird. <laughs> I love them. Oh, no. Uh, what do you want anyway? Did you say deep cut? The deep cut from the Anarchy Splatcast thing? Why do they all have their own television shows? It's called a day job. You should look into it. Banditing is our real passion. Oh good, they're bandits. But have you looked around? We've hit the jackpot. Who knew this was here? All this time, treasure was just sitting under the crater. Now it's ours for the taking. Oh good, they're the villains of the story, apparently. Or one of them. Because you totally can't. You're gonna try to stop us? Because you can't. No matter what you do. Oh, man. They did rehearse the whole thing, didn't they? What do you have to do to scare someone these days? TV show host is day job, banditing is a passion. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think Splatoon 1, Callie and Marie were, like... Not just TV show hosts, but also, like, idols. And then they were also secret agents who saved the world. Uh, so, you know, totally spies vibe there. I think Splatoon 2, they were actually just... They weren't agents. They were just television hosts until the end of the Octo expansion. Where they ended up helping to uh, save the world. I'm over this conversation. Treasure Zaz, I'd wish, I'd wish you luck, but I don't want to. And they exploded. Okay. So, um... Maybe these statues must have been huge! TV host, idol, secret agents, kind of pog. I mean... Not exactly new. 
I think we completed the entirety. The entirety of our first log. Yep, so we now have the story of the fall of humanity. If you didn't know, Splatoon is a post-apocalyptic game set after the, well, eventual extinction of humanity. So these little logs that we find are how we learn more about them. So as technology advanced at an exponential pace, so too did prosperity and ultimately conflict. Before long, the entire world was embroiled. In the end, nearly all life on Earth was wiped out. As humans squabbled, natural disasters intensified. Volcanic eruptions leveled cities. The sea rose and began to consume the planet. Humanity experienced a mass extinction event. Soon, the surface of the Earth became a barren wasteland, completely inhospitable to life. Error. Against the odds, computed to be 42,791 to 1. Does anybody have the... Whatever. Oh, no. Who translated this? I don't know. Who translated it? But... But what we have here... Recognize your references! I've got to, I got to find it exactly. <laughs> no, I think that's, uh, I think it's copywritten like crazy. So I can't play star Wars. Yeah. They're just using that stupid odds thing. Okay. Against the odds computed to be nearly 42,791 to 1, some humans survived. Therefore, the planet was only nearly completely inhospitable to life. That's not how that works. These survivors found shelter in a vast cavern created by a cataclysmic volcanic eruption. The cavern provided shelter, and a massive pool of accumulated seawater provided life. For while humanity was being decimated, marine life flourished. All manner of squid, octopi, octopuses, and jellyfish had propagated in the deep. They had propagated in the deep. The surviving humans had found a source of sustenance. Wait, did they eat? Are we humans? Are we mutated human squid creatures? Um. It's like I'm right there with you. Wait, where are you? To your right, you can see a mysterious fuzzy rocket in the distance. Huh. That's a new sentence. The cozy and safe factory. Second sight has a lot going. Wow, it really looks like it's got a lot going on. I'm getting a strong reading from way up there. It could be Gramps. Let's go find Captain Cuttlefish. No, because I think my, my thought right now is that we're basically humans that have somehow combined in form with like the squid or the octopus. And that's how we got our our current form. Some massive, like, mutation level stuff. Uh, I mean, in order to survive in the, in, in the post-apocalyptic world, I'd imagine that humans would have to change quite a bit. And it's not like there's a whole lot of them for genetic diversity there. 
I don't know. It'll be interesting to see where it goes. The backstory is always really weird. <laughs> oh, we're gonna bring out... These two pay more, so we're gonna definitely use the blaster, because we haven't used it yet. We have no fee. Yes, by eating a lot of squid. I don't know what they've explained. It's been years since I've done, like, all of the weird stuff. I played through the story. I didn't play through the crazy stuff last weekend. I think I have to go back and read... Yeah, I think I have to go back and read all of the scrolls from the first and second game. Oh wow, this thing's got such a far range, though. But the squids also don't... I don't know. Like, a majority of squids don't know what octolings are. There's like four, maybe, that do. Or eight. I forget. And then there's also a bunch of squids that, like, they don't know history of their species at all. So, I don't know if I can really, uh... ...believe the in-game stuff that comes from them. Stop sniping me. Eh, all of those shots are pretty good, if I say so myself. Gonna go right for the end, no falling off this time. And it's the final checkpoint. Doo -doo -doo -doo. They'll never find me up here. I said you wouldn't find me here. Stop trying to prove me wrong. I'll admit, Splatoon 1, I mostly did multiplayer. Splatoon 2, I mostly did everything else. Not really. I didn't play a whole lot of multiplayer in Splatoon 2, it just didn't catch on as much with me. Twirling, swirling, whirling, navigate roting, rot rotating platforms to reach the goal. We did it. Where's my money? Also, I'd look it up on the wiki, but I... The wiki has been proven to be wrong for this game so often. I just wouldn't trust it. Okay. Two hundred! Bloop. What do we got? What do we got? Whatever that was. He's really happy. Oh, another level. <gasps> you got something to say? Who's got pointy ears and some extra power eggs for you? This girl. Thank, thank you for, for the power eggs. We're going to use those to clear this direction. What's over here? Power eggs! It's all about the power eggs here today. I, I'm, I'm missing like 40. <laughs> that just looks like an eye. Do, do I not have... I think I have two levels left to open, so we're still good. I don't have to replay a level yet. Absorbency in you. Reach the goal using sponges. 
but not as bad as the Octo expansion just yet, because that had some nasty levels. I think we only had one level so far that was really tricky. Oh, most money, but I'm suddenly using the Bamboozler. Very short range sniper rifle. I guess it's not as short as I thought. Very fast charge up time though. I want to go this way now. I'm visiting everywhere. Okay. If we're doing a good job so far, I'll never suspect a thing. I am so good at this. Oh, we could have gotten a missile if I walked three feet up. We'll grab that and go all the way around because I like missiles. They're fun. They're really fun. Don't we all like missiles? And over here's a box. With 25 power eggs. Okay. Section Q is down. Time to jump over the floating world. So right away, they've set this game up with quite a few little mysteries. Like, if you played the story of, of uh, Splatoon 2, we literally start this game with the main bad guy from uh, Splatoon 2 being like, yo, what is going on? None of this was me. I am not good at fighting. Which marks the first time that we're not fighting the same bad guy. is always good I think I got so many upgrade points when does that slow down I guess it's sort of balanced out by the fact that we also like need the sardinium we need to find the hidden sardines to upgrade or to unlock the upgrades I haven't found any in levels yet so I guess we make all of our, uh, we get all of our rewards and such for, uh, beating, whoa, um, for finding stuff in the world, and in order to find stuff in the world, we need to beat levels. Try Zooka, try Zooka, that was a terrible shot. Okay. We're good. Section two here is really interesting. A little bit more money. Splitting crosshairs. Break the targets to reach the goal. Sure. We'll do that, and then we'll explore more of the open world in order to find things. I have never used this. Oh, it's a Gatling gun. Okay. That'll be interesting.
Oh, it's one of these levels. That's dangerous for me. I am not typically good at these levels. Okay. Checkpoint unlocked. Oh, the final checkpoint already? Wonder if they got feedback that a lot of the Octo stuff was a lot harder than... than they wanted for this in the early stages. Because these really aren't super hard compared to that stuff. But I guess at the end of the day, I'm having fun with it, and that's what really matters, right? Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. I wonder how that works with a slosher. I don't know, it doesn't seem too crazy difficult. Okay, we can go up now. It's not gonna stop me from clearing out a lot of these because I've got two thousand. Two thousand dollar dues. Sardinium! We need more sardinium. We haven't gotten any scrolls here yet. But we've now got a CD. What do we get for that? I want this entire area to be clear. Ooh. Manual hops. It's a level. Tread heavily. Oh, we have to use the crab tank? I'm not good with the crab tank. Whatever, we'll try it. In this mission, you will master the use of the crab tank. Okay, Orca. Whatever you say. Going up walls. So many buttons to hit. I'll hold up against attacks from the front. <laughs> We're so proud of you, Crab Tank. Um. Okay, gigantic. It's a giant robot! Shoot rockets? Oh, there's an entire area below me. Short hop. I can roll around for days. Whee! I broke your shield.
I am super ball person. Ah! Ah! I've been knocked down. That was silly of me. Why did I climb back up there? What is this music? At points in the game, the music is just weird. Okay, we've got a rocket launcher, robot punchy. Haha, -ha, I made it. I think I was supposed to take care of that face before I uh, came over here. Um. Okay then, going up. Oh. I think by skip by by doing that we might have possibly I I sort of wanna No ah! I sorta of wanna try to get over there. That area looks fun. <laughs> Good job, Crab Zink. Awesome. I'm so good at this. Treading heavily. Okay, let's see what we got. I got nothing. Splat everywhere to fill up your gauge. I, I sort of want to stop filling up that gauge. I think we filled too much of that gauge already. Okay, mom. Careful. He did find something. Found power eggs. I haven't found a single scroll in this area. It's almost like they don't exist. Hmm. Oh, that's area three. Yeah, I don't want to go over there yet. What does this lead me? To treasure. A food ticket! I got more food than you. Um. You're supposed to eat that? More CDs.
Hmm. Ooh, what's that? A hundred garls. Lack of scrolls, though. Going. Yeah, it's a it's an energy thing. Okay, it looks like we'll need 500 to clear up this. 500 to clear this up. So a thousand more for this level. No, we still have some stuff over there to clean up too. We still have quite a bit to do here. Switch things up, hit the splat switches, reach the goal. How fun we will make it. The Splatter Shot Pro with the Splat Bombs. Okay. We're in Umbrella Land. Parasol Land? Well, that was rude. Yeah, the entire block did take off. It just didn't want to be here anymore. They're all just running away from us. It's like they don't like my company or something. Stupid blocks. See if you like it. Found it. I just figure all of these blocks have switches. Seems to be a pretty good guess at the moment. Nothing up there, nothing on my six. Splattling gun. Oh. Okay. He's back to that other room. I feel like we didn't shoot something. Which is weird because I've been shooting everything. Hmm. First area of getting utterly stuck. We'll figure it out as we go. I mean, I can leap of faith this. What was that? I can't leap of faith that. I think I just went two miles an hour over it. Okay, we're back over here. 
Nothing crazy that happened here. We fought a couple of enemies. Ran all the way over here, went up and around. On the rooftop, there were some animus. One's gonna spawn. Cool. Yeah, it seems all right to me. Oh, we are missing one. I think it would have to be in this area because I don't think you give the checkpoint here with no good way back. Oh, this is the start of the level. Um, is this a one checkpoint run? What block did I miss? What a silly run. Better yet, what switch did I miss? I'm not seeing anything down here. Which usually means it's gonna be down here. <laughs> oh my goodness, they put it in the ceiling. Okay. That's a thing. That makes a lot more sense now. Surge to the top. And we got the power eggs. Okay, cool. Believe it. The range blaster. It's our only shot. Because it's our only weapon. I didn't look at the name of this one. How much trouble am I in? Reach the goal without running out of ink. I do not have enough ink for this. By definition. Okay, what's the plan? I think that's my plan. We got a lot of switches to hit. Conserving ink is not my strong suit, guys. They correct, they never stood a chance. 
they were swimming around a bomb. Why would they do such a thing? I don't know. Oh no. I mean, it's the same amount of shots, no matter how I do this. Oh, I wasted one! Whatever, we're fine. We beat it! <laughs> we were allowed to waste a shot, apparently. Actually, two, because I think we used a shot at the very beginning that we didn't need to. Man, who would have thought? It's not a hard puzzle. Thank you for the money! Now, I think we determined that way is the way we don't want to go. And that there's a bunch of stuff down here. So let's clear up a bunch of stuff down here. Another ticket! We got a food ticket. Ooh, there's a thing right below me. I haven't been back here yet. Ah. We had access to that for a little bit, but it's fine. Okay, let's see how this goes. What are, you, what are you looking at, little guy? He's looking at something there. That should open up our complete route to this side of the world. Upgrade points and all. He found something. We found a scroll! It's our first scroll in this area! <laughs> okay, somebody had to draw that. I would just like to say that. For the Inklings and the Octolings of the Splatlands, aggressive action is the best way to make a splash in the local scene. Youths will often dress themselves in the style of a delinquent or hooligan to intimidate peers during combative courtship rituals known as rumbles. Interesting. Is that five? Wow, that was five. So we really didn't miss a whole lot there. With that, I think we're going up. But I think we're going up too far. Okay, that's 900. It's a little expensive for me. Sardine! Four hundred. What are we doing here? Oh, he found that. Wait, did I get... Okay. Why am I getting body parts? That's a little creepy. More sardine! Wow. So it takes three to unlock one of these. Increases the recovery rate, decreases the ink consume when throwing small fry. Eh. Eh. None of these are really super useful to me, so I'll just take the one in the middle because that unlocks the least, obviously.
Okay, moving back to a l whoa, there's a thing right below me. How didn't I see that? How much do you cost to remove? 400! We're doing it! Another pack of cards. Oh, and there's a level over there. Uh, I didn't make it. Going up to this level, cause it's standing on its own. Getting lost in three easy steps. Navigate the maze to reach the goal. Ah, it's a maze. Okay, when I say getting lost in three easy steps, I don't even think it'll take three. We're really good at not finding our way around. Okay, let us charge forward. Oh, we just ink the directions that we go. That plan suddenly seems less likely to work because we're being shot by everybody. Okay. Rotating a wall as part of the maze. Interesting. Um, whoever constructed this maze forgot a very basic concept of maze building. Don't let people on the roofs. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, uh, run away! Got him. Okay. So they forgot their rule, but, you know, we're nice. We'll walk around. We'll pretend that we didn't see anything. From the top of the maze. I'm just imagining, like, they built this whole thing, and then at the end, they're like, Oh, we used the wrong walls for that. Why didn't anybody notice? That would be a, a story and a half. Yeah, it's not the exit. The exit's on the other side. See? I found it. Little do we know that this just leads to another maze. Um. Darn it. Okay, I see the value now in solving the maze. I see the value created um, by jumping the walls. It just makes it harder to swim places. Okay, we're through. Going up, going across. We should be good now. I did ink most of this route. Just looks so weird. Whew. Great swim, climb. Swime? Okay. I mean, not the worst maze that I've been in or seen. But, you know, whatever.
So now we have to go back up there to beat that level. Because I jumped down to beat the, the maze one. <laughs> Are there any more levels that I'm randomly skipping? Or are these actually the last two levels? Reach the goal using the soaker blocks. What is a soaker block? And then I think at the end of this site, at the end of this site, we'll call it for the day and we'll do more Splatoon 3 campaign Another time, probably next week. Whoa! Shoot the base and they do stuff. But do they stay do stuff? Oh no, they shrink after a bit. Okay. So then if I hit this, I can climb up. Yeah! I see your blocks. I know. I totally know what I'm doing with these things. Wait. Stop hitting it. I need to. So the soaker blocks do get hit by enemy ink. I feel like that is going to be an important thing. Wait, the, the road to victory is paved in what? But why is it paved in soaker blocks? I don't think I need to get closer to him. Oh, I missed. Let's get it! Yeah! Soaker blocks! Whoop! It's going back. Sucker blocks are the new best thing for this one level. Whoa, I thought I fell to my death. Um, I got a key. I made a pyramid. Just need to uh, move on up. This one's gonna take a bit to break. Okay. Oh, that goes one at a time. It's a little scary. See, isn't that so scary? Okay, we made it. We did get the key. We can now take our sucker box up. <laughs> sucker blocks are really satisfying. Got him. Soaker block. Oh, that's an interesting way of doing that. Uh, I have a feeling break this and then just keep shooting that. And then get over here, turn around and shoot it again. Oh, I'm so good at this. Wait, what? There we go. Now it's to the end. Let's go, 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 go! Nailed it. She said so herself. We nailed it. Ba -da -bum. Okay. So, one more... Major level.
But we've only found one scroll in Sector 2. Oh, I see a thing. Hold on, guys. I see a thing. How do I get up there? Over here? Cool. I would do that level, but... Ooh, we forgot to clear this entire thing. Okay, let's clear this area quick. Oh, that got me to go up. Oh, you're just a little guy. Um. Okay. Why are we running in a circle here again? I don't know, but we got a lot of circles to run. Scroll! Grisco Industries Occupational Safety Guidelines. One, keep your eggs in the game. Two, I'll try to grab one more. Could end with one less. Of you. Three, sea goes dark, tide goes up. Four, ACB. Always check the basket. And five, throw eggs, don't yolk around. We missed one. That was... That was seven. So we missed six. And that one's over there. Um, what's this? That's a decoration. More stuff over here, though. A lot more stuff. I did find that. What's over here? How did I come all the way up here and not notice this? Is this our missing scroll? The lobby I built doesn't have a single standout feature because everything in there is feature worthy. If you don't have the greatest Turf War experience ever, I'll eat the smaller of my two claws. Wait, what? Eh. Glenn Fiddler, President and CEO. So that's six. We did get five, six, and seven. Okay. Now I think we are, if we look over this, we've completed, I think, everything, right? We still have a couple area of interests and a couple parts unknown. But I don't think there's anything major in any of them, right? Like when it says area of interest, if we walk up here. He just jumped into the water. Stop jumping into the water. Okay. Still more area of interest over here. Okay, our area of interest over here is gone. We can use those little blinking blue lights to find stuff. Interesting. I don't think we'll be needing a whole lot more of that here. 
as most of our secrets are now secreted up. We've done it. The future stares back. Fight your way to the exit. Wait, the future stares back. Future of what? Unauthorized personnel beyond this point. Okay, you heard him. Getting strong readings up ahead. What do you guys think it is? Not so fast. It's Fry. Pretty tough, I can tell. How about this? You call it quits, join my crew, and we split the treasure. No. <laughs> you want to resolve this Splatland style, huh? Don't they rumble? A dance battle to the death. Eels, you get your wriggly butts out here. Oh no, it's the eel deal! She's a snake charmer? Let's dance. Whoa, okay. Don't hit me. We'll launch back. Okay, we threw her off balance. Let's go. Hit number one. Wow, we are really making the new uh, characters to villains, huh? Not bad. You ready to feel the pain? Why? The Nintendo just, like, the Nintendo Treehouse team just has people dedicated to making puns, right? Take your hits like an eel? Ow! Okay, we ha we got all of them. I'd say that's pretty good percentages. Make those eels squeal? <laughs> what? Captain is fired up. You think you can treat my eels like shrimp? Wait, what? M more, more a power. Okay. It's the more a great transformation. They're chasing me. You know what? I have an idea. That mostly worked. My ideas are working again. Which means... Now's your chain, yeah, 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 yeah. Goodbye. I'm way stronger than I- wait, what? You saying I look weak? Bet you'll miss me? Not really. Stop exploding though, please. So I'm guessing those two have like some signature thing on them. Oh, what is this? What are we building this time? A paraglider? I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be tricky. So, we got our first ish boss. Some great work, Agent 3, and you got this thing, but not Gramps. It is treasure, or at least I think that's what it is. We can keep it here for now. <gasps> it's Cuttlefish! Do you copy? Anyone listening? Do you read me? Gramps, where are you? Kelly, Marie, my darlings, you're okay. Yes. Who should we ask you here? Oh, sure. I mean, I'm locked in some kind of dark room, which ain't exactly ideal. Let's see if I can break out. Wow, we're tracking your signal right now and on our way. Call us if anything happens. Well, I think we lost them. 
If you want to go back to a previous kettle, just open the menu. It might be useful at some point. Yeah, it's probably going to be useful for getting more money. We're going to make a gyrocopter, aren't we? Oh! Hey! Let's jump over there! And just like that... We have completed not one... ...but two zones. We will walk to the third, and then... ...we will be done for the day. Whoa! Okay. Let's hope Gramps is safe. I think he is. He's in a dark room, though. Watch out, it's all slippery. Oh, we've got ice. So, next week, we're gonna have some interesting time with ice. Between the fake snow and the lack of Gram signal, it seems like nothing is chilling here. We should investigate just in case. We'll follow your lead, Agent 3, and your step. Oops. Wait, do I actually just... Oh, that's so cool! I love the sliding physics. I love them. Okay. So this is what we're going to be doing the next time we play. Thank you guys for stopping by. There are two pipes. That one leads directly to another world. That one goes and continues the story. Hey, he found a thing of a jig. So yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been the first two worlds of Splatoon 3. I am actually really enjoying the game so far. I played quite a bit of the co-op, quite a bit of the multiplayer. I will play more now, but my throat's sort of acting up still. So, uh... Gonna have to relax that. I promise to not play any more of the story until you guys can watch. If you so choose. But... We do have Log 2. That we can read as our exit. The rise of civilization. Again. The surviving humans appointed scientists to lead their new society, believing that science would provide a wiser path forward. Fully empowered, these scientists took on the monumental task of establishing a sustainable ecosystem within the cavern. They dubbed this new society Alterna and began the process of recreating the Earth they had once known. Of course, not even scientists are immune to nostalgia. The humans began constructing large-scale 3D printing operations, which allowed them to recreate some of humanity's favorite artifacts within the confines of Alterna. Additionally, they created a robust information management system designed to indelibly record all of humanity's precious knowledge. Such a system would naturally require some sort of record keeper, a computer that could autonomously observe and record data. The scientists achieved their aim with the development of Orca, also known as the Omniscient Recording Computer of Alterna. So Orca here is the Omniscient Keeper of All Knowledge. So we're slowly going through their logs, and we still have a lot more things to find. A lot more scrolls to find, guys. Yep. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. I will see you guys tomorrow.